with this hypnosis that we are individuals separated from the source with this sense of do doer, personal doership. The same one that has created it is the same one that slowly walks you through this illumination. So it's all designed to be this way from the beginning to the end. So something that created the world put you or put me in this hypnosis that I am an individual separated from the whole and I need to get to a place. And then later on, well, self awakening kind of kicks in. Now I become a bhakti. Now I'm looking for God and I start searching, which that by itself is also a part of the plan. So something has triggered inside me. Now I start recognizing God, spirit, and I want to awaken. So now the rest of my life, I'm on this self-awakening process. And then whether I awaken in this life or not, that's a different story. But it's all being done by the same force, by the same being. Now, depending on where you're at on this karmic will, and I'm using it karmic will, it's a way of saying it. It's just to point of reference. What happens is the more you are coming to these teachings, this particular one, which is the end, the last teaching, because this teaching is not going to give you something to do. It's very different than neo spirituality. Like what's happening right now in the world, a lot of the teachings, they're telling you to do this, to do that, implement this practice, implement that practice, blah, 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 blah. Inner work, inner child, da, 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 da. work on yourself, work on your wounds, and all that stuff, which ultimately activates the mind. It makes you keep thinking, and, and it's distraction. But this teach, teaching is about being silent, be quiet. It's teaching you not to activate the mind, to go beyond the mind. So the more you, if you're attracted to it, which again, depends on where you're at in your spiritual development. But if you get attracted to this teachings, and you become alert, means the more you follow it and the more you're quiet and you learn how to go beyond the mind, the more you dive into the heart, the more bliss begins to appear and bubble up because you have gone beyond the world of the thoughts the mind is always busy. Oh, what's going to happen? How am I going to get money? What about next year when I run out of this money? Who's going to take care of me? Or what's going to happen with the COVID? And if they come mutates and they come and do another sets of vaccination, or where is the world going to go? Or what's going to happen with the economy? The mind wants to go crazy. And the media outside is a reflection of the crazy mind, the crazy mind is a reflection of the media. So everything is, has exhilarated or it appears to be that way. So it's fast, all these things is happening, this craziness in the mind and outside. So the wise one recognizes that 
And in order to free herself, himself recognizes that it needs to be quiet or needs to be around those who understand silence. So you link into that. So use teachings that helps you to go beyond the mind. And you can't quiet the mind with the mind. That activates the mind. So you have to learn a system to go beyond the mind. And the more you're quiet, and the more you learn to be still, you implement that during the day in your life of stop everything and just stay really still. What happens is slowly an activation takes place. Something starts to get more activated and it starts to grow because the more you're quiet, the more you're still in this place, the higher become your vibrations. Your vibration starts to rise to a higher frequency because you have separated yourself from the rest of the world, from the world of Maya, the world of thoughts. Because this dimension that you're dealing with, you're looking at it, you're engaged with it, is a dimension of thoughts. It's all made out of thoughts. Everything is a thought. And I know there are schools that they want to teach you how to control your thoughts or how to manifest things so things go your way. But that's completely opposite of what I teach because that activates your mind more. So that's going to just drag you more into the gutter. So you have to discipline yourself to avoid that. Those schools, the news, the media, you have to disengage from all of it for whatever time you can during the day. So you get used to something completely the opposite of everything else in the world. It's from also your childhood, they've been telling you, think about your future. Rachel, think about your Retirement, your schooling, your this, your that, education, think of future, think of it. So now you come to this. Obviously that way has brought us to this, where we're at, the mess we're in, the chaos that we're in, it didn't work. So why don't I take my time and do something else? Give it a try. I have nothing to lose. The world is going to go down in the gutter anyway. So why don't I try something different? So then I come across Ramana Maharshi, an Advaita master, the Yani. What do they teach? They teach silence. Be quiet. So I start to be quiet. And I sit. And I spend time being still. But when I start doing it, what happens is slowly, slowly I start to realize that I'm being my vibration starts to rise to a higher frequency because I'm not involved in the world of thoughts. I'm not involving myself with the news. I'm not involving myself with all these messages. I'm disconnecting from it. 